and welcome to the second part of the episode on how to drive your productivity or productivity hacks that will change your life. In the last episode of Pitch Cafe Academy, I talked to you about uh, one consistent habit which I see in a lot of successful millionaires, billionaires, serial entrepreneurs and generally people who are having a lot of fun being successful. This particular trend which I observed was in their timetable, in the way they set up their given day. Everyone has 24 hours in a day but what these people do differently is they trick their brain to stay in a high energy state and if they feel they are losing energy reserves and they are feeling slightly low they shift what they're doing into a state where they can energize. So what are the different ways you can energize? You can have healthy drink, you can go take a walk, work out, sing, pursue a hobby. You know there are a lot of ways to energize yourself what I feel is other than the fact that these people energize themselves with a specific routine they're also learning something new if you want to stay productive make sure that somewhere in your calendar once a week or once a month you spend few hours going into a state where you're learning something new I'll tell you why learning something new acquiring a new hobby learning a new skill meeting new people going to a place you have not been to before what does this do to you so as I mentioned tricking your brain to be in high energy state means you are putting your brain in a state which is high energy what is a high energy state when people meditate for a long time and they after that they come out and do something they're in a high energy state because your mind during meditation is blanked completely thought free state if you go into a situation where everything around is new you're not going to be thinking about the fight you had with somebody close to you or that deal you lost or something negative which happened in your life you're going to be completely completely blank and looking at things with fresh eyes. So this is called as the beginner's mind. Beginner's mind in martial arts is supposed to be a very powerful state because you are unlearning everything you have learned before and you are starting fresh. So most successful billionaires, millionaires, high achievers I have worked with practice beginner's mind regularly in their life. So if you want to stay productive, this is your second tip. The first tip is have a routine where you constantly energize and stay in a high energy state or, and take breaks regularly. Don't be like a machine doing the same thing again and again. The second thing is practice beginner's mind. Beginner's mind means creating blank state as appropriately, as many times as possible in your schedule. When you sleep, after some time you're in alpha state, your mind is completely blank. You know, it's, they say it's a good state where you can suggest yourself to make positive changes. If you like, let's say you smoke, then you can auto suggest yourself that, you know, hey, I'm going to give up this habit and I'll do something healthier. So these were two things which we learned from episode one and episode two. Now, what are all the things which you can do in a tangible way in your physical world to stay productive? I mentioned timetable. What is it around timetable which you can do, which can make you productive? If you are in the habit of setting goals, goals for yourself on a monthly basis, on a quarterly basis, on a yearly basis, you can use your calendar or you can have timers which will you know indicate milestones for your productivity there are apps for setting goals and you know they check on you they send you updates they send you reminders let's say you want to do this 26 mile uh, marathon then the, you can set reminders for you this is month one you're supposed to have been able to do five miles in the third month let's say you should be able to do 10 miles and maybe at the end of six months you should have crossed 20 miles marathon in your practice maybe you want to have a reminder for strength training and you know, things like that so you want to have some sort of a reminder if you don't like looking at your phone or calendar then be a part of a group where people talk about this a lot and go to that group often so I generally involve myself in such groups for example I wanted to learn this particular kind of dance and then I uh, you know I'm a part of the whatsapp group whenever they have a dancing opportunity I get updates and I also see the photographs videos which went into making the dance happen so it kind of stimulates my mind to think about those things so some people want to climb Mount Everest you know they're thinking about base camp all the gear which goes into it how many miles they practiced what strength training they used did they use weights are they able to climb high altitude so when people talk about this in a group you don't need a calendar reminder these thoughts seep in, in your conscious and then slowly into your subconscious mind so your calendar 
reminder, being part of an activity group. These are all very important productivity hacks and try to do them to bring certain changes in your life. Like I say in one of my productivity videos, three things will change your life and take it to the next level. Your thoughts, your actions and your words. What you say, or how you act and what you think. And the most powerful is when you say positive things and you act in a positive way, it, it becomes a part of your DNA and people start perceiving you. It becomes your brand. So, you know, follow these tips, you know, mind your thoughts, actions and words and align them with who you want to be. If you if you want to be an influencer, then act like one. If you want to be a product leader, then align your thoughts and actions and words. Think like a product leader. If you want to be uh, like a fitness, you know, influencer, then talk about fitness, act fit, think about fitness, use specific tools and techniques to communicate about fitness. So uh, these are a few hacks on productivity I talked about in episode 1 and episode 2. Today's episode specifically I focused on setting a calendar, being part of activity groups and just tricking your brain to be in a positive state because you, uh, you are just a small percentage of what you can be and the only way to get to the next level is to do something you've not done before. You are what you are because you do things in a certain way and if you want to get to the next level like I gave you the example of a beginner's mind you want to start with a clean slate and do something you've never done before. So with that I hope you find all these productivity hacks from episode 1 and episode 2 very useful. This is a topic which is very vast i'll definitely come back to this you know in the next few episodes i'll choose a different subtopic and we'll hone in on it we'll explore it a lot more with that i'd like to take your leave this is your host Vita patel as always if you like this episode please like and subscribe share it with your friends and until next time wishing you a lot of scale and success thank you